Hello, Hogzilla here again. Today we will be playing the first, and in my opinion, the best version of The Sims. Specifically, I will be showing you how to become a professional gnome maker. And I guarantee at least once before the end of this video, I will have said gnome. If you don't want to deal with getting up every morning for a carpool car, nor do you want to put up with the work to become a superstar, you can make gnomes at a fairly high payoff once you've leveled up your mechanical skill. One additional benefit is that you don't get reassigned to a different job when you top out of your normal job or you're not away from your house like in a normal job or a superstar. You can also become a professional canner of food preserves which has a low randomized payoff or a professional painter where you might struggle. But anyway, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick uh, a family. I'm going to actually create We'll call this the YouTube family. We'll add a sim. And what I do here for my um, my personality is I try to keep uh, a minimum of three points on each skill. Because anything below that, that it actually makes your sim deficient in that skill. So for example, for neat, if you don't have neat um, at, at least three, then what they do is they leave plates out or they don't wash their hands and then eventually they get sick and they wake up in the middle of the night and then you got to tell them to go back to bed again um so you think you're getting the benefit because you don't have to deal with washing the plates and that kind of stuff but um in the end uh it it's more of a pain to not just have the minimum three points what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make my nice skill at least um two points to the end so that way, um, when I'm interacting for social, um, they're nice. So then I'm just going to keep my points fairly even here. Go ahead, complete this family. We're going to say done on this. And now we get to pick our parcel. Once we uh, pick our family, click move in. So there's a number of parcels throughout. I want to pick the cheapest kind. So obviously you want to stay away from one sim lane. Um, you want to stay away from eight sim lane. And there's other ones. This 4,000 and 4,500 are okay. Um, but I'm going to try and pick the cheapest of the cheap. Since a uh, nine sim lane is already used on my map by me. Uh, um, when I'm playing offline, I'm going to go with 79 Crumple Bottom Court. Yes, I want this. I want to pause the game right away, get the walls down, and let's go ahead and start building. So let's go ahead and get our wall in. So what I like to do here is I will get my sofa. I'm going to go with this 400 simoleon um, sofa. Get that bought. Get a door bought. We'll go with this nice 100 simoleon door. Get a nice cheap TV because this will be our main focus for fun. Get that in there. I think this should be enough to churn it in there. Um, what I'm going to now buy is the uh, bookcase. We also need to get the kitchen stuff. So let's go ahead and get the cheapest refrigerator you don't want this because this is just if you want to do gardening and you grow your own food um, keep in mind you might not have all these options uh, if you do not have all the expansion packs like the gardening I know was one of the later items uh, added so let's go ahead and get a stove added we want the cheapest stove possible 
let's go ahead and let's do the garbage compactor and the dishwasher. So I know some of you might be saying, well, wait a second, Hogzilla. Um, isn't this going to cost more than putting in a sink and uh, a trash can? Yes, uh, it costs a little bit more, but you're not dealing with having to try and take out the trash and the uh, cockroaches and flies that come with uh, leaving the stuff out. So I just like to go with um, these items. Plus, it actually saves on square footage because you don't have to go out and buy a table for the microwave and the food processor. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more uh, surfaces. One surface is going to be for a sink and another one for a possible expansion for a coffee maker later. Um, so now what I will do is finish off my walls there. I'm going to add the sink. And I don't want too good of a sink. It's kind of a little quirk in the game where if this sink is too good and you're in the bathroom over here and the sink isn't as well, you might go from the bathroom to this sink back to the shower. Um, so that's why I just buy the cheap sink there. So let's just go ahead and uh, buy our big table. I'm just going to buy this cheap 200 table. So the reason I have all this extra room here is um, I can put my robot a butler later here. Uh, another add-on with an expa expansion pack. I'm going to put in a very nice chair here. One of the best because you're going to be sitting on this. You need to get your comfort rating up. We need to get a, a phone. So let's get a phone in here. Let's also right now go ahead and get uh, an alarm and a fire alarm in there. Um, what else we need to get here? Um, nothing else in the main living area. We're going to want to buy another chair and a computer to put in here later. Um, but let's just go ahead and get the basic ex essentials in. Um, that will be our bathroom. So let's go ahead and get our bathroom door in. Then I also need another door out to um, which will be the gnome area. I'm going to build out the bedroom a little bit here for later when I want to I might put in a fireplace I might not we'll see let's go ahead and buy the bed um, let's go ahead and put in the bed here get it into the right direction um, this is actually a good bed for the price. You don't want to go too cheap on the bed. Like, I could go this uh, Spartan Special for 300 but it only has an energy rating of 7, and it will not actually fill up your entire energy bar. This bed here is one that will fill up your entire energy bar and at a pretty good pace, but eventually I will probably add this kind of bed, um, but not at 5000 So let's go ahead and update the, the bathroom here. We want to go cheap bathroom. Cheapish sink. And we want cheap shower. But we're going to want this one later. And we might even expand our bathroom so we can have the, uh, the Hydrarethra bath, bathtub. But we'll see how we go here. Let's go ahead and uh, buy the um, no making station. 
So I want to buy a no making station there. I want to buy a, a phone here in case the phone goes off when I'm trying to make the gnomes. So let's go ahead and add our uh, floor and wall stuff. So you can see we have nothing here right now. Let's go ahead. Um, we're keep it cheap. We'll go with this uh, beautiful blue. <laughs> I'm just seeing what won't look too too bad. But there's a certain kind of um, bathroom tile I want. Here we go. I want this green. And then I'm looking, and this used to be a lot easier when there wasn't as much add-ons. They really added on uh, with each subsequent expansion pack. But you used to be able to have a very limited number of um, flooring and walls. I'm looking for the aluminum siding yep we're gonna go aluminum siding on the outside so now we can go and do the floor let's just do this uh green bad stuff and we'll do this like yellowish stuff and then we just gotta find the i'm looking for the specific bath tile to match i guess it really doesn't matter i just i've kind of always done that for this game um i might have went past probably went past to here uh, oh there it is <laughs> so we got that covered now let's just add windows and lighting Let's add a nice privacy window for this bathroom. We'll add a window here for the bedroom. And two windows for the living area. We see it lightened up the, the, the area there. Let's go ahead and get some uh, lighting in this house. Let's just go with the cheap 99 simoleon lighting for now. Um, later on we'll replace that to increase our room rating so now um, I think we got everything that we need in so one of the first things we need to do is call for maid service um, get that done then um, we need to study cooking so let's go ahead and study cooking here. I want to be watching actually here for... Oh, here's another thing that came with the Making Magic um, expansion pack was this box. Um, actually, it'll be a good thing to put the bills on because what I happen every three days there will be bills and then the Sim will normally want to bring the bills in and put them on the corner of this table. So... What I do is I have this table that comes with this, or you could buy a little end table, put it here. The bills will go here. You can go about your day, come back, put, put the bills in the mailbox to pay them. Um, okay, we got our one cooking. Let's go ahead. Oh, I missed my click there. Open up this magic starting kit. You get a little extra money out of this because you can get rid of this package. I get rid of the uh, little spell computer. Get rid of the little crock pot there. And then I put the little table by the door. Get rid of the hole in the ground. So now what I can do here is start making my gnomes. Oh, there we go. Uh, we definitely want to greet Bella. Uh, Mortimer will always be at work when you want to talk. So now what I'll do is I'll just put a whole bunch of talk about interests up there. And this used to be a lot easier before the hot date expansion pack. 
if you didn't have the hot date expansion pack, what you would do is you would just talk, talk, talk until they get to about like 30 or 40 on the relationship scale. And there used to only be one bar with one value. Now there's a short term, which is the top value, and a long term, which is the bottom value. And you would talk until about 30 or 40. Then you would do compliments, which would get you higher values. And then eventually, um, I forgot what you would do after that. You would just keep it at 100. Uh, but now it's more dynamic. Uh so, but I know like hot date, was it a hot date or was it a different expansion pack? You, um, when you would call somebody on the phone, the only option you had was to, um, let's see how, what do we got here for a value? 32 is pretty good. We might just do a few more and then say goodbye. Um. You would call them on the phone, and the only option was to come over. And that option wasn't even there because you would just call them and they'd come over. Uh, at least now you could invite them somewhere else. You could just do just talk, which is what I'm going to be doing uh, momentarily here. I'm just going to get the TV on here for cartoons since that's how my personality is set up on here. Uh, Gunther. I can't remember if I want Gunther or not. I know, like, I'm going to need a second person. And eventually I'm going to have to go downtown and get one of, like, the towny people. And then you talk to those two people on the phone. And that keeps your social rating up so that you can um, keep um, making the gnomes. Oh, I know something I've missed because I see this dog here. I've totally forgotten to put this 15 simoleon stay away pet thing. So I'm going to put that right here. And one other thing that I forgot to do was put here and here um, little walls so that I can put... Alarm, 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 and alarm. So the reason I've done that, I'll explain here in a second here. I just want to see what Gunther's rating. He's a 19, so he's going to be kind of, he's going to be kind of in between. Um, but then we can get started on, oh, great. I probably need somebody else. Um... There, I got one mechanical skill, which is key. I'm going to have to find somebody else. Uh, but the reason I do this... Oh, great. This was another item that um, came up in an expansion pack where you have either raccoons or bears that are going to knock over the trash can. And they'll wake you up if you're in bed. Um... But I'm, um, to I totally lost my train of thought there. It looks like we're going to have the raccoon here. Maybe? Nope. The reason I uh, put the pet sign in there is because the pets can knock over the uh, gnomes and make them explode, losing money. You'll actually see that um, I did that kind of quick, but I got two simoleons for that gnome and that price will go up as I increase my mechanical skill but uh, back to why I put the little alarms all over the place is because the robber or the burglar will come and want to steal stuff from your house usually the most expensive item and yes you can have this single alarm inside and it will call the police but usually not before they'll have taken an item and you only get reimbursed by the police uh, fair market value of what that item is. So uh, whatever uh, it is minus depreciation. So if you have the alarms kind of like an early warning system, 
the police will get called and the uh, cop will get there before they can take anything and you'll still get the 1000 simoleon reward but you won't have to uh, deal with the insurance taking items and and you having to rebuy them at a, a higher price so um that's why I have basically have this early warning system. So now we can really get to it today. Uh, let's go ahead and um, set up our food, our bathroom, our shower. Let's go ahead and do call neighbor, call neighbor, and watch TV. So if your uh, any of your ratings get too low, Sim will actually not, um, not try and make gnomes. They'll say I'm too depressed or too, too bad for, uh, trying to do that. That's not good. Uh, we had a bad short phone call. Uh, let's go ahead and see what Gunther says. Okay, we had an okay call there. So now I'm just trying to build up the fun rating right now. Okay, we're pretty good. Let's go ahead and make those gnomes. And so um, you're not going to make many at first here, and they're going to be at a very low price. But by the time you've maxed out your mechanical skill by doing this, you should be getting 100 simoleons per. And I can get anywhere from uh, about 16 to 20 per day. So that's 1,600 to 2,000 simoleons per day, which is mo more than most jobs so i'm getting already five to eleven per um, which is more than most jobs even like top tier jobs except maybe like if you went into the crime lord area i think you get like 2100 per day but you usually top out of that job and get pushed into a junior executive job um, the only other one that might make you more money is being a superstar. Um, when you're a top superstar, I think you can get like 1800 for um, a good performance um, in the two out of three performance area, which you might not even get. You might fail on your second attempt because you don't know which of the three options um, you want to go with. So, here, this is guaranteed money, as long as a pet doesn't run into it. Um, so now, basically, um, it's rinse and repeat. It's get up in the morning, get your, um, your food, bathroom, and shower, keep your social up, keep your fun up, um, pay your bills, which should be on the lower end here, and then keep leveling up your... Um, professional gnome maker. So we just go ahead, do our call neighbor, call neighbor, watch TV. There's the phone that probably was a prank call because it was before eight. A skunk I'll just forget about. I'll just... Usually a skunk will interfere with... Um, um, with pets. And I don't mess around with pets. Let's go ahead. Nope, he's at work. Um, that's fine. We'll just skip for today on that. That's what you got to kind of watch out. People being at work. Like, Bella doesn't have a job if you go over to that house. So now, uh, what I'll usually do is keep uh, building up the gnomes. I might add the canning station just to increase my... Um, cooking skill so that um, my hunger rating goes up higher but let's just sh um, I'll show you what the range is um, for today on making gnomes okay he's really low on a lot of skills because I have the cheap sofa later what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a computer and put one of these nice chairs there also. So you're getting the comfort rating and you're getting an increase in fun. Um, but I don't need that uh, for now. Um, ugh, Claire the bear again. Um, good thing I'm not sleeping yet. Uh, did my bills come yet? 
I'd like to actually play this out until my bills come. Um, but let's see here what we got. So I got 18, 18, 26, 17, 25, 26. So you can see I'm starting to make some money here. I made 204. My bills... My bills for this kind of house are probably going to be about high 300s. I think uh, this next day is the day the bills come. I'm almost sure I'm going to be in the high 300s, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but once you're making more than what you're putting in for bills, you just have a minimum of food items to deal with. And any kind of uh, services like the maid, which that'll go away eventually when I get the uh, robot. Uh, but that's like one of the last things that we add. Uh, let's call Gunther first this time. Uh, let's even take away the sh uh, shower. We're kind of doing this out of order here, which might screw up the maid, but I want to um, go ahead, Bella. Okay, we had a good talk there. Okay, got the shower done. Now we just got to watch the TV here. I'm almost sure this is when the bills are going to come, else we'll do one more day. I wanted to keep this video on the, the half hour side. So now I'm just going to uh, keep plowing through the uh, gnomes here. Somebody wanted me to move in there, just went the uh, bills. So we're going to pick up the bills here and see how much we're making as compared to how much we're getting for the uh, gnomes. And, um, and I just said the word I said I was going to say at least once. So let's go ahead and get the mail, have dinner, uh, use the bathroom. Oh. 257. I must have kept her uh, very cheap. I've actually, when I tried to do the ultimate amount of cheap, make the bare minimum size of a house, just have a little table to eat at, a little two square table, cheap chair, cheap everything, cheap bathroom, bed, and everything. I had the bills like at like $92 or 92 simoleons once. Um, and that was ultimate cheapness. Um, bare minimum of lights. I think I did have the alarm and the fire uh, alarm, though. Okay, uh, pay the bills, and I'm in bed. So let's go ahead and see how much we're making here. 29, 30. So you can already see in a few short days... Um, I'm already up to 30 simoleons. By the time you max out your mechanical skill, every gnome will be 100 simoleons. Um, so if we look at our financials here, you can see that we're almost, we're almost uh, breaking even if we have to pay bills that day. Um, else, over the last three days, I am making a profit on this. But if you look here, you're going to have about 250 simoleons um, for bills. You're going to have 60 in food and about 30 in um, maid service. And then you're going to be pulling in 1,800 about for simoleons on gnomes. You buy and fire, you're making a lot of money really quick. And you're really upgrading your house and you can quickly make money this way. Um, so I think that is as far as I'm going to go with this. If there is a lot of interest, I might do a part two or come back to this. But um, I'm going to wrap it up here. So if you do like these kind of videos, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you have your questions or want to share your experiences about playing the first The Sims games and their expansion packs, leave me a comment below. I love reading the comments for uh, these kind of videos. And please consider subscribing to my channel. I do thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!